Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you my process for making this piece that you're seeing right now. Hey everybody, what's poppin'? My name is Francis Alcantara and I like to make these graphic illustrations in my personal time. If you want a personalized commission, uh, shoot me a DM, slide into my DMs. Uh, on my Instagram at by Francis. It should be on the screen. If I, rem if I remember to edit it, it should be on the screen. I've been fiddling around with these kinds of illustrations for a few years now, and I feel like I only recently sort of stumbled on a style that I personally enjoy, that I'm satisfied with, so, uh, which is what, it's what you're seeing right now. And let me, actually before that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce myself here a bit. I am 22 years old right now as of the making of this video. I uh, enjoy making these illustrations and graphic work. Eventually I would like to start painting, you know, but I feel like right now it would be a good time to make as many mistakes as I can because it's online, I mean it's digital so the cost isn't that much. I would say I have a background in graphic design, I took exactly one class that's about the same number of Oscars Leonardo DiCaprio has, so you know, that's pretty good. And I think I got a B in that class, which also is pretty good, you know. So this video is also a way for me to build more confidence with myself and the work I do. Okay, full disclosure, I am reading off a script right now, okay? This is my first video, so I want to make a good first impression. This is the equivalent of me wearing a suit and tie to meet somebody for the first time. But in actuality, I am wearing shorts and a shirt. You know, I'm feeling comfy. Hope you guys are feeling comfortable there. So enough about me, let's talk about what's happening on screen, okay? So my art process, what you see now is, like I've said multiple times in, these, in the past minute or so, is how I like to make my illustrations. And if I could describe my style in one way I would say it's more gritty, you know, messy and dirty. It doesn't look the most organized, which, uh, which is something that I prefer. You know, I've, you, you can clearly see that I've opted to not make vectors, because admittedly they feel a little too clean for me, quote unquote clean. You know, sharp, straight edges. You know, I do enjoy the occasional vector though. You know, don't get me wrong, they do look great, and there's lots of talented people out there that's making vectors that are 10 times better than what I'm doing right now. But you know, thank you for sticking with me. If you made it this far, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching this video. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a paintbrush tool that I, uh, the paint, a paintbrush that I have found online. You know, I just search paintbrush, Photoshop brush, and I tilted it a little bit to the side so it has more authenticity to make it seem more like a brush brush. And I lowered the flow to 22% because by lowering the flow, it's less consistent, which I feel matches matches the uh, yeah matches the authentic authenticity of an actual brush 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 brush. They call it brush brush, and I think it looks good. I really enjoy that. Prior to coloring on Photoshop, though, uh, I outlined the photograph on Illustrator using a technique I gathered from uh, I believe his name is Shy World on YouTube. He makes lots of vector art as well, and I was very much inspired by him like a few years ago. And I was like, wow, that's I, could, I couldn't believe I could just do that. I felt like regular lines, or should I say regular, you know, pen work from point A, point B, it's a little too clean. Again, a little too clean for me. It's a little too perfect. But I realized that I could quote unquote draw the line. That seems like, that seems like a horribly explained concept which I could probably make a tutorial in the future if you uh, hit that like button button you know if you hit that like button uh, hit that subscribe but yeah I wasn't able to capture the initial outlining process of this one because I was still figuring out how to do the screen recording of my you guessed it screen wow what you're seeing now is the coloring part which takes the longest uh, what I do is I like to lay down a base color uh, and work from darkest to lightest, lightest when I shade. So as you can see, I used just some regular pink, and for the I start with the darkest shadow, and then I work my way up. 
yeah all i use is a mouse and keyboard and wow it is rough it's it took a while you know you got to build up the muscles on your index finger to really get used to it and your wrist because you know the coordination there is is definitely learned you're not born with it i was clearly not born with it and it's a lot of practice the problem with using a mouse though is that i don't really get that pen pressure that usual painting has so that's why i tilted it a bit and i decreased the flow so that it has you know a little more a little more authentic authenticity that's the word of the day today authenticity uh, i am saving up for an ipad though because i feel like that would be a big help for me colors wise i choose whatever i personally feel like you know whatever color i'm feeling for this specific work i really enjoy colors and i like the way they interact with each other you know uh they're just fun to look at man i feel like a lot of people can agree can agree to that i'm not a perfect color mixer though however uh, which is why i use this handy website uh called coolers.co i'm gonna link link that into the description link that in the description part in the doobly-doo uh for help it generates color palettes it automatically generates color palettes which is a lot of help you can just spend your whole day tapping that spacebar generating color palette after color pal palette and it's a big help i think for designers and really anybody who wants to make stuff i highly recommend it uh, i also enjoy more popping colors you know more arresting eye-catching colors contrary to the cleanliness idea i do enjoy keith herring he is one of my uh color wise he is one of my inspirations because i like the way it's it all pops in all his work at the end of it all i like to overlay a gritty texture to really add to the overall painted effect as more grip you know adds more to that authenticity which i super enjoy it makes it look like it wasn't made on a computer even though it a hundred percent was and yeah that's essentially how i do it again if you want any personalized commission work i am open for that just slide in slide into my dms actually you know casually casually walk into my dms because i don't think my girlfriend would enjoy somebody sliding into my dms so if, give me a follow on instagram at by francis you know i'll also leave my email for business people out there professional people out there and yeah that's about it hit the subscribe hit the like if you liked it till next video